All right, Shalom. First, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone that were well, that taught us this truth. All right, salutations to the Akim who are teaching the word in sincerity and truth, and blessings to the elect and the remnant of Israelites who are scattered worldwide, who are predestined to be saved. This is Brother Yakal coming with uh, uh, another video, a lesson, and Lord willing, it will be edifying to you, brothers, you know, and you few sisters that are in this truth. Uh, today's lesson is basically about our people that are in Africa, in particularly West Africa. All right, because as um, we've awoke, the Lord has woken us up and brought us into this truth. Alright, Ezekiel 3 and 17 says, Son of man, I've made you a watchman on the house of Israel. Hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. Alright, and that's our job as prophets to warn our people of danger. Alright, and there is danger coming for our people who are in Africa. Alright, so I hope that, you know, you listen, pay attention and take this lesson dead serious because the enemy is pursuing us and working overtime to basically get rid of our people over there and don't worry it's not just going to be over there it's going to be worldwide man all right this is a conspiracy that is now common knowledge but some people just don't believe these things so we're going to go into it today and there's a video i want you to see there's an agenda all right to more or less get rid of our people now this is an article on nairaland.com excellent um excellent site it even shows our pictures of us ruling europe and the whitewashing that happened or shakespeare mozart the two doors it does an excellent job all right and i'm going to read this article okay and um you know to make sure you know this word goes out you know i might blank out a few words because i you know i want people a lot of people as much as possible to be able to um, have this video up, you know, so it can edify. Um, and the title is The Secret Racist Agenda to <coughs> Black Africans from the World. All right. So there's an agenda to, to <coughs> Israelites from the world. Okay. Because we're not Africans, we're Israelites. Okay. We migrated into Africa. All right, in 70 AD, all right, when the Romans besieged, uh, uh, besieged uh, Jerusalem, okay, and if you look at um, uh, what's it called? We we always we always had a history of that, you know. When 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 we were persecuted in the past, all right, our ancestors. There's plenty of examples that our ancestors used to flee into Africa because Africa. Is right next door to Israel. Egypt is right next door to Israel. All right, and we used to flee for safety. So just like now, you have the war in Ukraine. All right, uh, a couple of years ago when uh, Russia invaded them, many Ukrainians fled into Poland. Okay, we had a history of always fleeing into uh, Africa to escape persecution. Okay, and here's an example. All right, the best example I can give you: Matthew two and thirteen. All right. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared, appeareth to Joseph in a dream. All right. So this is Yahushua's father, Joseph, right? Having a dream. So this is when Yahushua was born. All right. And, they, and King Herod wanted to kill him. All right. Saying, arise and take the young child, which is Yahushua, and his mother, Mary, and flee into Egypt. And Egypt is where? Africa. And the ancient Egyptians were black, and we are black, so it's easy to blend in. All right, so if Mary and Joseph and, and, and baby uh, so-called Jesus, and we don't like using that word, man. Our Lord and Savior is Yahweh Shai, all right? Okay? We don't like using that word because Google Jesus and what comes up? Picture of a, a Caucasian, which is totally uh, uh, not biblical, all right? All right? So the child and his mother and flee into Egypt. All right, and be thou there until I bring the word, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. Okay, 
So Mary and Joseph, and uh, when they had Yahushai, when he was born, they fled into Egypt. Okay? All right? And if you look at the, uh, what's it called? There's a uh, migrate. Yeah, that's it. Migrate into Africa. There's an there's a, a image here that's showing you the migration path. All right? Uh, let's see here. This is on. There you go. It shows you the migration path. So we're here in Israel, right? Uh, but the Romans, uh, we had wars with the Romans. They besieged it. And we fled into Egypt, which is right here. All right? And years later, most, not all, settled in West Africa. All right? Here. And that was prophecy because, you know what? That's where the slave trade uh, uh, mainly happened. Okay? So all of this is like a movie. Our lives, uh, everything is a movie it's the heavenly father's movie and he's the ultimate director okay so that's that that's proof that we you know in our history we always used to flee in you know into africa to flee persecution okay now there's an article here on this uh website called nairaland.com which is a uh, nairaland is a uh, naira is the currency for nigeria all right and this is an excellent website it shows all the pictures of our people ruling Europe and the whitewashing and it has great articles and this article here all right it's, it's for, as I said Nairaland forum and it's www.nairaland.com and the title is the secret racist agenda to uh, uh, I'm just going to use that um, uh, sound you know all right to uh, uh, disguise that word because you know you know I, I want this video to stay up so people can be warned so the rate the secret racist agenda to <coughs> black Africans from the world and we're not Africans we're Israelites now let's keep reading after much investigations and quality research it has come clear to a number of investigative researchers and men and women in the intelligence community all around the world that there is an agenda to gradually cleanse black people of African descent from the world for sick and evil purposes all right I'm gonna leave that right there and that is absolutely true and that is scriptural now watch this and please pay attention to what is in this video it's very important Russia has once again brought back the numerous talks and reports that previously existed after it was revealed that Western governments, especially the United States, are now conducting state-sponsored pharmaceutical experiments on Africans and setting up new bioweapon laboratories in African countries. Hmm. In 2023, talking to Piers Morgan Shaw, Mr. Bassam reminds people how in 2013, Israel performed castrations to unsuspecting women of Ethiopian descent against their consent. But yep. even when Ethiopian people were immigrated to Israel, Ethiopian Jews, women then report 2013, that's not like 50 years ago, hmm. they reported that they were given against their consent and without their knowledge contraceptive shots so they wouldn't reproduce because they are the wrong color. Then come. Okay, let's pause it right there. You hear what he said? Now remember in Isaiah 11 and 11. All right, the Lord said he's going to gather a remnant of his people from Cush. Now, who are Cushites? Ethiopians, Eritreans, and Somalians. All right, so among those people, there are many people that are, uh, that, um, are Israelites because we're scattered in all nations. Okay, all right, so let's continue. Comes the whole Bill Gates identification project to newborn babies in Kenya. Yep. So, according to a Kenyan news agency, 
Gates' role is assisting the Kenyan government in its development and the rollout of Maisha number was announced after a recent series of the closed door meetings with Kenyan President William Ruto. Probably, probably, human experiments in the Shahaza. Actually, for the same, what if we go fishing for Congo? What if we go fishing South Africa? Yeah. As it was a queue, and it is recorded. But listen, I just told you in a very nice way. Now, let me just put it blatantly to you. The program targets the birth of new babies. So once you have your baby, before your baby leaves the hospital, you no longer get a paper birth certificate, but then you get a digital one that is somehow implanted somewhere on somebody's body. There you go. Plant it on someone's body. Now, what, 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 what does that sound like? What does that sound like? That sounds like the MOTB. All right. So this Bible is on point, man. Huh? This is the Lord's movie. All right. It's playing out. And the ones, the ones of our people, whether they're in Africa or scattered around the world, the ones that don't, can't see that there's an agenda. I don't know what to tell you to destroy us. I don't know what to tell you. The Lord's blinded you. Revelations 13 and 16. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's see that's right. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. That's the MLTB. All right. So they're using Africa as a testing ground for this thing. Let's continue. All right. go man all right and it comes down to leadership now in the continent of africa all right we always talk about oh, our leaders are corrupt this that and the other but listen we've had some good leaders who've tried all right to break off the shackles of the west and this is some of them all right on the right here patrick malumba who was i think the first pri president of congo all right did great things they took him out all right and they used coconut israelites or Hamites to do it, man. On the left, Thomas Sankara, who was uh, uh, did a coup to get the leadership of Burkina Faso, and he I think he paid off the debt for the World Bank. I remember watching a documentary, and they talked about they had debts, you know, to the World Bank and things like that. He sorted all those things out. He said because many people live in poverty, the people that are in government, all right, in high positions in in government should not be driving around. In Mercedes and BMWs, all these big fancy cars, while the average person is looking for, you know, living day by day, you know, trying to get um, food to feed their kids. So he instituted many good things. And one of the things was that people high up in the government should um, have normal cars, all right, not BMWs, Mercedes, or whatever, and even bicycles. That is true humility, man. All right, he did amazing things. Go and look him up. And they took him out as well. Kwame Nkuma of Ghana. He spoke about mainly the Illuminati and how they want to destroy Africa. And Muammar Gaddafi, even though he was an Arab and he used to do a lot of wicked things. But he did try to do a gold currency to avoid this dollar. All right, and help the African countries. And they took him out. So there is an agenda. There's a crafty council, like it says in Psalms 83. All right, against our people. All right, let's continue here. And this coconut that you just uh, saw, 
uh, uh, Ruto is the Kenyan uh, uh, Prime Minister. I don't know if he's an Israelite or Hamite, but he's in the pocket of the West. Let's continue. Bioweapon laboratories in Africa. Russian intelligence now reveals the United States has shifted their bioweapons labs from Ukraine to Africa and have even begun conducting experiments. Something that lands you a life sentence in the United States. I want to ask you about the bioweapons labs that are in these African countries because you know uh, very well what's going on with the bio Biological Weapons Anti-Terrorism Act that you drafted there. Why are they putting these labs in those countries? Well, it's very simple uh, in trying to uh, circumvent the Biological Weapons Convention and my uh, Biological Weapons Anti-Terrorism Act of uh, 1989 that provides for uh, life in prison. We have uh, a BSL-4 in Guinea. We have one at the capital there, one in uh, Liberia, Monrovia, and another one at uh, Kenema uh, in Sierra Leone. And they all do this uh, dual-use offensive, defensive, uh, biological warfare work. Guinea has uh, never been a party to the uh, Biological Weapons Convention. Uh, Liberia has never been a party. Uh, Sierra Leone uh, is a party, but, you know, given the uh, disturbances over there, I'm sure no one's been paying attention to what's been going on in these labs. The Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation continues to analyze the military biological activities of the United States in Ukraine and other countries. During the last briefing, we drew your attention to the transfer of unfit Ukrainian projects to the territory of other states. It was shown that African states fell into the zone of increased interest of the United States. Hmm. The Democratic Republic of the Congo, Sierra Leone, Cameroon, Uganda, at the same time, the customers from the American government are the Threat Reduction Office of the Ministry of Defense, DITRA, the National Security Agency, hmm. and the U.S. State Department. Today, using the example of Nigeria, we would like to show that the stated goals of projects aimed at developing public health do not correspond to reality. Thus, the American military department claims that biological projects in Nigeria are aimed at combating HIV and AIDS. Mm. However, the effectiveness of this program raises serious questions. Despite the annual increase in funding, totaling about $100 million, the HIV incidence rate has remained virtually unchanged and is currently the same as in 2009. The mortality rate among HIV-infected people also shows negative dynamics. Yep. At the same time, the number of Nigerian citizens who received antiviral therapy with Gilead drugs has steadily increased over the entire funding period yep. and reached 60% of the total number of patients. Oh, Let me remind you that this pharmaceutical company is affiliated with the Pentagon and tested its drugs on citizens of Ukraine. This allows us to conclude that American pharmacological drugs, the steady increase in consumption of which in Nigeria is recorded by statistics, do not have a real therapeutic effect, and Nigerian citizens are used as a free clinical base. Thus, under the guise of public health issues on the African continent, yep. the Pentagon solved its own problems. It monitors the biological situation, collects and exports samples of infectious disease agents and their vectors. This activity continues to this day. I hope you got that, man. All right. Now, the scripture that comes to mind is that their own tongue will fall upon themselves. All right. And because of this tension between Russia and America, they're exposing a lot of the wickedness that America's doing. But do you know who's really exposing it? Yahweh Bashim Yel Shai. All right. He's the one that uh, um, uh, uh, chooses and, and controls people. All right. To do things, whether uh, good or evil. I form the light, I create darkness, I create peace, I create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Okay? So there was a lot in there, but it showed that map. And what did it show? Nigeria, Sierra Leone. Uh, you know, the list goes on and on and on. I mean, how many countries did it actually show? And if you looked at the map, Senegal, Guinea, Sierra Leone, Liberia, all right, Cote d'Ivoire, which is Ivory Coast, and Uganda, and many of uh, these countries, huge populations of these people are Israelites, man. And uh, I remember years ago, uh, you know, when I first joined uh, uh, the camp, because we used to teach in an area where there's a lot of West Africans, 
all right i did like a chart to show which tribes are you know in in africa are israelites you know and i just looked it up the other day and, you know it was ages ago that i did this but as you can see on the screen there's many of them so the Igbo in nigeria the yoruba the ashanti bamalike the mandingo I, i'm mandingo myself from sierra leone Mende, the Temne, the Creole, the Limba, the Shabro, Sierra Leone, the Gar of um, uh, Ghana, Fanti of Ghana, the Wolof, they're in Senegal, and the list goes on, on, and on. I'm not sure if you can, because uh, I haven't, I just looked this up the other day. This is a very, you know, like I did this years ago, because many people used to come up to us and see the 12 tribes chart and not see Nigerians or Ghanaians so I thought I'd do a chart like this you know and, and we used to use it so most of these tribes are Israelite all these are Israelite tribes right and most of them are in West Africa okay and look where their labs are okay so this is in the scriptures man okay and we have to warn you of of these things it's our duty you know okay but the Lord is in control of all of it man okay this is jeremiah 29 and 11 it's about this devil man all right for i know the thoughts that i think towards you saith the lord thoughts of peace and not evil to give you an expected end all right this devil thinks he's gonna live and go on forever all right but the lord controls him and because the lord controls him the lord has put pride in his heart to think that there's never going to be an end to his kingdom that's why psalms 49 11 says the inward thoughts shall uh, uh shall say that their houses shall continue on forever they think they're going to rule forever all right and in order for them to rule forever they have to get rid of us to break that prophecy of yahushua coming back all right and saving his elect and and the remnant if they exterminate us, then of course there won't be uh, uh, a, anyone left to, for your house to come back and save. You know? So, for us, if you look at this scripture, all right, the Lord is taught this scriptures towards us, okay? And, you know, it says, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you. The Lord wants our people to be saved. The Lord wants. And will put this uh, uh, evil uh, a piece of crap and his wicked empire, all right, to an end, all right? And that's when we're going to have peace, all right? For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord. Thoughts of peace, that's what we're going to get in the kingdom. And not of evil, to give you an expected end. Yeah, an end to this captivity. But... The Acts 14 and 22 says, Through much tribulation shall we enter the kingdom of heaven. So there's an agenda, man. All right? And all those leaders, you know, those uh, they tried to help our people, you know, and save them. But they couldn't. But you know who is going to save us? All right? Yahweh Shai. That's, that's why he say his name is He Saves. He Delivers. Okay? And the Lord knows what they're up to, man. This is Job 21 and 17. Behold, I know your thoughts. See, the Lord knows what they're doing. And the devices which ye wrongfully imagine against me. Okay? Because if they are um, doing these things towards our people, whether it be over there in Africa or in um, Latin America, etc. Alright? They're against our God. Because we're connected to him. We're his children. Alright? So the Lord knows their thoughts and their devices. And you've seen their devices in that video, okay? And what is that going to lead to? It's going to lead to a lot of... This. See, that, that's the reason why we have to do uh, this work, man. Because a lot of people need to be fed. Fed with this truth, okay? So they can get right and prepare for this uh, period of time that we're coming into. That is going to be truly, truly uh, um, a judgment for... The majority of our people the lord is just going to get rid of them because he doesn't regard them as israelites because you know why he doesn't regard you as your own because you don't want to be israelites you want to be african-americans 
you want to be a, a, a Nigerians, you want to be a Native Americans, everything but being an Israelite. So, all right, have that. Be those things, okay? The Lord is the Lord is coming back to save His elect, and His elect will know that the Israelites and do exactly what the Messiah says: "My sheep hear my voice." This is Second Ezra fifteen and seven. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, all right. I will hold my tongue no more as counting their wickedness which they profanely commit neither I will suffer them in those things in, in which they wickedly exercise themselves behold the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me and the souls of the just complain continually all right and that's this that that's us we are a just people we are crying unto the lord and saying lord take this this devil out because if he, he doesn't there won't be any one of our people left man all right he won't all right verse 9 and therefore saith the lord i shall surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them all right the lord is going to get busy in these last days man all right but you have to un you, know, you have to make a decision are you going to be on the left all right which is destruction satan's side or you're going to be the, on the right with your house shy and the angels man and 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 the protection that comes with this truth you have to make that choice and make it very soon man okay all right verse 10 second Ezra 15 and 10 behold Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. You saw that video. Okay. All right. We're not ignorant of Satan's devices. All right. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. So our people are led like a flock to the slaughter because they're blinded, man. You know. They're too busy about making it in this world. Rather than doing things now, today. All right. That please the Heavenly Father and His Son. So we can have a new world, which is the kingdom of heaven, which is which will dwell of righteousness, man. All right, okay. The Lord's gonna get busy in these last days, man. All right, believe that, man. All right. So that's why we're warning you. We know what the enemy is up to over there in Africa, especially West. Okay. But the Lord is gonna deliver us. Second Ezra fifteen eleven. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues. And the new age Egypt is America, man. All right. And it's being plagued. So I think today they had a, uh, was it a bridge collapsed in America in Baltimore and people died because a ship hit it. You know, tornadoes, hurricanes, and there's more to come. As before, and will destroy all the land thereof. All right, because they have they, you. They, you can't be doing all of this wickedness, you know, plotting and scheming without any kind of punishment, man. Verse twelve: Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that God shall bring upon it. That's right, and that's going to be mainly the nuclear missiles, man. All right. Okay, it has to be destroyed because the center of all of this wickedness. Is this Babylon the Great America, which this devil uh, uh, has in his possession because the earth is given into hand of the wicked. All right. And the Lord gave you it, man, for prophecy's sake. But he's so arrogant. You know, he thinks that, yeah, you know, he's on top of the world. He's indestructible. You know, for, you know, great pride. Yeah, all right? The more you, you, a person is prideful, the bigger the fall. OK, we just have to make sure that we're on the Lord's side. All right. Okay, because there's uh, 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 there's not a lot of time left, man. All right, Second Ezra nine and twenty one, and I saw and spared it greatly, and I have kept me a grape of the cluster, and a plant of a great people. All right, so imagine a big cluster of grapes, but the Lord has a, 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 a you know a vine and a cluster that He's going to keep, and that's His elect, man. Huh? Okay. Right, verse 22 let the multitude perish then which was born in vain 
So the ones who are people that don't want to listen, don't want to come back to Yahbashim Yashai, have faith in the Lord, all right, you're going to be a part of that multitude that's going to perish in vain. And let the grape be kept and my plant, for with great labor I have made it perfect. And we strive to be perfect, you know. Well, we're not going to, you know, in the kingdom we're going to be perfect because the Lord is going to program us to be righteous. And that's the beautiful thing about the kingdom is that we're never going to sin again, man. You know, you're never going to have that guilt feeling or, or anything like that. You know, so we need to, we just had the Passover and now we're doing the Feast of Unleavened Bread, all right? And uh, we want all of this death and destruction and all these devil with his with his uh, 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 madness and doing all of this in our homeland. We, we want to be exempt from judgment. We want that judgment to pass over us, okay? And that's what's going to happen if you come back to the Lord, and, you know, in truth and sincerity, man, okay? All right, one last scripture and we're going to close, okay? This is Ezekiel 9 and 4. And the Lord, and the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city and the midst of Jerusalem and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that are done in the midst thereof. And that's the Lord's elect. We hate this place because there's too much abominations. Everything... This place that promotes is opposite to God. Even our people in West Africa, man. They do, a lot of them are doing voodoo. Or in, in countries like Sierra Leone, it's called juju. You know, corruption. All right? Over in Nigeria, they're kidnapping school children. Those people need to actually be repent. Or the Lord has to get rid of them. All right? Um, verse 5. And to the others, he said, in my hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite let not your eye spare, neither or neither have ye pity. So this is what the Lord's going to do. He's going to get rid of the most of our people, man. All right. Verse Ezekiel 9 and 6. All right. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children. All right. So <clears throat> this ain't a game. The Lord is not respectful of, per of persons, man. All right. If you ignore this truth, you want to do things your way. The Lord is going to allow them to do what? The Lord is going to do what? Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women, but come not near any man upon whom is the, the mark and begin at my sanctuary. All right? Begin at my sanctuary. Now, what does that uh, mark mean? It's not the same uh, mark as in Revelations 13 and 16. No. Okay. That mark is in a mark of ex exemption. Alright. Let's go down here to Ezekiel what, 9 and 4. Yeah. Mark 9 and 4. Let's look at the word mark. A mark. Alright. That's it. Strong's age 8420. Alright. Tom. Tav, which in paleo will be for wa, all right, paleo Hebrew, which means, the word paleo means ancient, okay, and it means, uh, go down here, desire, mark, mark, a sign, no, mark, as a sign of exemption from judgment, exemption from judgment, all right, and who's going to be exempt from judgment, the Lord's elect, 144,000 and the rest of the remnant who are also the elect all right of men women and children who are scattered around the world some of them will have have woken up to god's woken up to um uh, uh the fact that they're israelites but some israelites you know uh, who don't know that they're israelites whether they're in india or in uh, iraq or in west africa some the lord's going to save it's up to him he said i will have compassion on whom I will have compassion, I'll have mercy on whom I will have mercy on. So that mark in Ezekiel 9 and 4, all right, it means to be exempt from judgment, all right? And as you can see, judgment is coming, man, all right? Especially for our people over there in Africa. So, listen, I hope you were edified, all right? Stay strong, all right? Keep the faith and, let, and, and, and keep being diligent, man. Alright, 
this is a, a, a serious time that we're coming into. So to the next one, Shalom.